Rome is the light, a golden flame of power. For thousands of years it shines throughout the world. Are you ready to return to ancient Rome? This is history in 3D, and we're creating the most detailed, accurate, and complete 3D reconstruction of ancient Rome. This video is about 2023 years results, new buildings, new interiors, and real colors. If you love antiquity, you will like the channel Ancient Sites Girl. The author travels around the ancient Mediterranean, shoots colorful videos, and tells fascinating stories about the wonderful architectural monuments of Rome and the ancient world in general. Particular attention is paid to locations which are less known to tourists. I highly recommend this channel. The link to it is under this video. And we are returning to ancient Rome. We're starting from the religious center of Rome, the Capitoline Hill. Its top was a sacred place, Area Capitolina. Many temples, altars, and sanctuaries were concentrated here. The huge temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus dominated all these buildings. This temple was rebuilt several times, the last time it was under Domitian at the end of the first century CE. It was richly decorated, and its golden roof shone far and wide. The camera pans gradually around the hill, and you can see the theater of Marcellus in the foreground, and the Colosseum, Palatine Palaces, and Circus Maximus in the background. Now we will move to Via Sacra, the main street of ancient Rome. We're starting under the Arch of Titus, and you can see one of its reliefs reconstructed in full color. On the right, you see the imposing facade of the Temple of Venus and Roma, built in the second century to the design of Emperor Hadrian and restored in the early fourth century by Maxentius. Now we're turning towards the Forum. To the right is the huge Basilica Nova, built by the same Emperor Maxentius and later renamed in honor of Emperor Constantine, on the left are the porticos of the warehouses of Vespasian. We are approaching the Forum, and there are two temples to our right. One of them is in honor of Romulus, son of Emperor Maxentius. And behind it is the temple of Antoninus and Faustina. Now we are at the Forum Romanum, and see it as it was in the middle of the 4th century CE. The temples of the Capitoline Hill rise above the Forum. On the left is the Temple of Jupiter, and on the right is the Temple of Juno Moneta. Now we will show the reconstructions of two wonderful interiors that we did this year. Both buildings were located on Via Sacra. The first interior, is the western cella of the Temple of Venus in Roma, with a statue of the goddess Roma. The interior of the temple was richly decorated with marble and porphyry. The goddess Roma sat on a high pedestal. In her right hand she holds a spear, and in her left hand a sphere and winged victory. The second interior is the Basilica of Maxentius. The main place here is occupied by the famous Colossus of Constantine, located in the Western Apse. The statue was converted from a statue of Maxentius, which had previously been converted from an Antonine era statue. This basilica was a very important building of its time, and therefore it was built on a grand scale and decorated with expensive and varied materials. We paid special attention to the reconstruction of the marble facing of the basilica, as well as recreating the splendor of its exquisite ceiling. Much attention has been paid to the surrounding buildings of the Colosseum. On the left, we see the conical fountain of Meta Sudans, and behind it, on a high platform, the eastern facade of the Temple of Venus and Roma. Directly in front of us is the huge statue of Colossus Solus, which was originally a statue of Nero and stood at the entrance to his golden palace. 
Now we will make a complete flyby around the Flavian Amphitheater. To our left is the portico of the Baths of Titus, which were built at the same time as the Colosseum. And now we are on the east side of the Colosseum, and opposite it were located three schools for gladiators, Ludus Magnus, Dacius, and Gallicus. Ahead, on the top of the Salian Hill, we see the complex of the Temple of the Divine Claudius, begun under Nero and completed under Vespasian. We're finishing our flight around the Colosseum and see in front of us the side of the Arch of Constantine, decorated with colored reliefs. The facade of the Colosseum itself has been completely updated in our project and has been recreated with every possible attention to detail in architecture and materials. You can see all four tiers in sequence, which are made in the Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian orders. The 3D reconstruction of Ludus Magnus has also been completely redone. You can see this gladiator school in the center, and to the right of it is the Ludus Gallicus as well as a semicircular nymphium on the corner of the street, which was called Caput Africa. And now we're standing in the Ludus Magnus arena and we can see the silhouette of the Colosseum beyond its walls. Finally, we'll show the residential areas of Rome that we've improved and made more realistic. Now in front of you is the area to the east of the Colosseum. The camera flies from the Temple of Claudius on Caelius to the Baths of Trajan on Esquiline. And this is the Sabura area with its dense placed buildings. The camera flies from the Basilica of Maxentius to the Baths of Constantine at the top of the Quirinal. In the distance we see the imperial forms, the Palatine palaces, and the temples on the Capitoline Hill. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our project. If possible, help with a donation on Patreon, and we will relive the history together.